Hello all, welcome to our YouTube channel, My Project Ideas. In this video, we'll be discussing a Python-based machine learning model to predict the stock sentiment analysis using news headlines. As far as requirements of this building uh, model is concerned, it requires Python programming language with all the necessary libraries installed, it's Python, and Jupyter Notebook or any other code editor like uh, Google Colab or Visual Studio Code in which Python can be run. I have specifically used Jupyter Notebook to create some machine learning models. That's why I've mentioned it. Uh, otherwise, you can use any other code editor. Just make sure guys, you have all the necessary libraries installed on your system, which will be used, which will be using in this particular machine learning model building. So with that being said, let's get started and have a look on the code. So guys, this is our, the Jupyter notebook. Initially, what we have done is uh, we have imported the libraries as pandas to load our data set into the Jupyter notebook. Once the data set is loaded in, the, in our Jupyter notebook, then the analysis begins. This particular encoding is very important as the uh, data set contains some text data, text analysis. We need to perform some text pre-processing. So this particular uh, encoding ISO 88591 will help us to remove the special characters like uh, add the rate or hashtag or something like that. In the text pre-processing steps, the, these uh, special characters like hashtag and add the rate would create some absurd results. So we have removed this particular, uh, uh, all the special characters by using this particular encoding. Once the data set is loaded, we have to, what we'll do is we'll just classify our data set into train and test first. For example, in this date column, the data set, the data columns less than, less than till this date will be considered as the train data set and the data set with greater than this date will consider to be as test data set. Next. What we'll do, what we'll do is we'll remove the punctuation marks like comma or uh, uh, semicolon or uh, full stop or any double colons. This will also be an disadvantage for textual analysis because in text analysis we need simple paragraph strings. So we, through this particular code, what we have done is we have removed all the punctuation marks. For example, we need to only consider the, the paragraph which uh, which contains the strings between A to Z. So this particular code applet uh, helps us to uh, removing column names for each for ease of access. So what we have done is we'll first initially uh, remove all the punctuation marks from this data set. And now what we'll do is, as you can see that uh, this column names are top one, top two, top three, top four. What we'll do is for the ease of access, we'll convert these column names as one, two, three, four. We'll remove top one, top two, top three, top four. As we'll convert this into numeric columns like one, two, three, four, so it will be easily, be, uh, it can easily be accessed and could be more understandable enough. So this particular code applet helps us to create, helps us to remove the punctuation marks and to create the column names like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. For example, as you can see that before this particular code applet, the output data was showing top one, top two, top three, top four, top five. But once we have successfully executed this particular code applet, what we'll do is we'll uh, convert these top one, top two, top three into one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, right? Next, what we have done is uh, this, it is a string data set, right? So what we'll do is we'll convert entire string into lowercase or uppercase for more understandable or more, uh, the model could be more readable and precise enough, and it could be more understandable, understandable enough. So what we have done is we have converted entire text news headlines uh, uh, into lowercase through this particular code applet. So that's easy. What we have done is next is combining the strings into one paragraph in order to convert the headlines into vectors. So basically guys, what is text analysis? Text analysis is nothing but we need to convert the string into a vectors for getting the insights of that particular textual data. So what we'll do is we'll convert and we'll combine all these headlines into one single para by using this particular code applet. Secondly, each and every headlines of every row will be combined through this particular code applet. We have combined each and every row. So this particular code applet successfully executes and gives us the output as shown. 
Now it's time for using some algorithms. Once we have performed some textual analysis, we have cleaned our data set by removing the punctuation marks. We have converted our data set into lower case. Next to, is to perform some uh, algorithmic calculations. We'll, what we'll do is we'll implement some uh, selected algorithms in the uh, text in the text data, right? So we have first used count vectorizer. We have imported all the necessary libraries that is in, included that is needed to be imported by uh, while using count vectorizer. Once the count uh, once the count vectorizer is loaded, what we'll do is we'll implement the bag of words. Bag of words means this particular code applet. This particular code applet will helps us to combine the pair of two words and will assign us a vector value to that particular string or the bag of words. So next we have what we have done is we have implemented the random forest classifier with an estimate it is as 200 an estimate is, is equal to 200 means we will use 200 decision trees and the criterion uh, attribute as entropy. Next what we have done is we have once fit our uh, this particular train data set through random forest classifier. So this is one of the most important code applet as this particular code applet helps us to fit the random forest classifier algorithm into the data set, right? Once this particular random forest classifier algorithm is fitted into the data set, we'll predict uh, some uh, values and we'll generate a class and we'll generate a classification matrix to uh, check the accuracy of our model. So this particular code applet uh, will uh, once fitted into the random forest classifier, once the model is fitted into the random forest classifier, what we'll do is we'll check the accuracy. Once we'll check the accuracy and we'll get the confusion matrix. So as you can see that it comes out to be 84%. So it's a good accuracy with the, all these uh, confusion with, with the entire confusion matrix that is precision recall F1 score support. So now this was an entire Python machine learning model, which helps us to give the insights, which helps us to get the textual data, which helps us to get the stock sentiment analysis using text data. And we have used the concepts like uh, random forest classifier, uh, count, uh, uh, TFDIF count vectorizer to get the insights of that so stock sentiment analysis. And we have finally generated a model with the accuracy of 0.84, that is 84%, as you can see here. So. Guys, this was an entire Python machine learning model to predict the stock sentiment analysis using news headlines. I hope the things are precise and clear enough. The code is understandable enough. Thank you so much guys for watching this video. I hope you liked it. Please do subscribe to our channel, my project ideas in order to get some more interesting stuff in more technical domains in different technologies. Thank you so much guys. See you in the next video till then keep growing and keep exploring. Thank you.